from days of long ago, from uncharted regions of the universe, comes a legend. The legend of Voltron, defender of the universe. A mighty robot, loved by good, feared by evil. As Voltron's legend grew, peace settled across the galaxy. On planet Earth, a galaxy alliance was formed. Together with the good planets of the solar system, they maintained peace throughout the universe until a new horrible menace threatened the galaxy. Voltron was needed once more. This is the story of the super force of space explorers. Entrusted by the Alliance with the ancient secret of how to assemble Voltron, Defender of the Universe. Voltron, Defender of the Universe. Control to Commander Hazar. Cease your attack on planet Lycon at once. Why do they order me to stop? We're winning. In another few minutes, that planet will be ours. We'll take thousands of new slaves. The planet is rich in gold and other treasures. I want it. Commander! Pardon? Yes, what is it? Further word from the Grand Viceroy of Planet Doom. A more urgent matter demands your attention. A huge alien spacecraft has invaded our territory, and we have been unable to identify it. Ah, that is interesting enough to make me postpone the present battle. No meddling alien must be allowed to interfere with the galactic empire we are building. No, sire! Send Captain Quark at once to stop this intruder. Commander Hawkins to Galaxy Garrison. We are now 10,000 light years away and entering the Cronus Galaxy. We've weathered solar flares, meteor storms, magnetic belts, and black holes, but our entire team of young space explorers is just as determined as ever to find new and livable worlds for the people of our overcrowded galaxy. Anything ahead that looks the least bit promising, Captain? Well, our infra scanners seem to be picking up something that excites them. Right. That scanner glow may turn out to be the first promising sign we've had in months. I'll go farther. I'll say it means we've got a real livable world just ahead. I certainly hope you're right, Newly. Our teams have been waiting for this kind of news for a long, long time. Attention teams, we have a blip. Stand by for possible launch. Well, we got a blip. That's something to look forward to. Go 10,000 light years for a blip? Probably another false alarm. Blip, bleep, bloop. Cabin fever, Crick? Relax. I know you and your sea team are getting impatient, but Jeff has the same problem with his air team, and so does Cliff with his land team. Have a glass of synthetic orange juice to keep up your energy, Crick. Hardware made it especially for you. Hold it! What's your problem, Hutch? You got four aces. You ought to be happy. It's a good hand. I'm not happy, because you got five kings, Marvin. What's wrong, Sparks? There's a powerful magnetic belt around the planet, Skipper. I don't know if we can penetrate it safely. Got to. Come on! I'll teach you, Marvin. I didn't cheat! I know we all need action, and we've got to stay in shape, but not this way. They're buddies, Cliff. <laughs> really, the best of friends. 
This is the way they work off stress and frustration. Cards just don't do it for them. Right, Jeff. You'll be sorry you try to treat me! All right, you two. I hope you haven't totally destroyed each other, because there soon may be need for your enormous energy. Yeah. Just finishing a game of cards, Lisa. Well, on your feet. Yep. I just came from the control tower. They've sighted a planet that looks like a winner. They've got scanners and probes on it now. We may get a go at any time. Great! Go? It's the best planet we've sighted in a long time. If we can just penetrate that powerful magnetic belt. If we try it, we'll have to cut power and go through retrojet. I've seen you pull off harder tricks than that, Newly. Let's go! Attention, all teams. Report to stations. Prepare for launch. Attention, all teams. We took the wrong turn. Set the flight pattern, Sparks. It's set, but it's crazy, Skipper. Attention, all Voltron Force units. When you reach your space cruisers, be sure to check your weapon systems. Stand by for further orders. Air team in position, ready for launch. Sea team ready for launch. Land team assembled, waiting launch. All teams in position, prepare to slice through that magnetic belt. Hold everything, Skipper. What? That's not a magnetic belt. <laughs> oh, sounds like our old enemy, Hazar. We're all set. Are we cleared for launch? It may be that Hazar's forces are out to stop us as usual. So what's new? Hazar's always on our tail, and we always handle him. And you've had some mighty narrow escapes. Sorry, Jeff. Mission temporarily aborted until we know for sure. Commander! Have a nice day, Hazar. All teams, return to standby. Scanners being analyzed. We may be dealing with the evil forces of Hazar. Isn't this nice? Back to normal living again. There's hardware. He's the only one who likes it when we can't go out on a mission and have to stay cooped up in here. Hazard is a creep. Why doesn't he go discover his own planets instead of always trying to grab ours? Got it. I've got a fix on the planet. It looks livable and there's no magnetic belt. That interference was clearly the work of Hazar's robot attack force. We can still beat him to the prize. Go. All units report to launching area. We have little time to claim this new planet. Hazar's robot attack force is on its way to try to rob us of our prize. Work fast, test carefully, and be on guard. Good luck. Air team ready, and I mean ready. Land team more than ready. Seek team buys that. Set flight patterns at G400, T minus four. Get your turbo thrusts. Let's hope that's a livable planet, and let's pray that Hazar, space pirate Cork, will fail in his evil plan to seize it for another war base. Good luck!
The space explorers have led us to a lovely new planet, and now we shall relieve them of it. They may have superior technology, but I have superior cunning. Our robot spacecraft are about to attack. Interesting. Looks a lot like Arizona. Where's Arizona, Jeff? Uh, my planet, not yours, Lisa. Oh, I'm glad. Okay, teams, break up. Do your own thing. Prepare to release the sensor pods on go. Gone? Soil analysis indicates high in sulfur. Smells awful, but good for growing things. Plenty of marine life, good healthy water. And fish. Reports coming in from the explorers are great. I think we found a new planet for our people. It's a great day for the galaxy. Commander, better take a look at this, quick. I picked up something new and I don't like it. Something is moving in fast on us from two sides. All teams, red alert. Hazar's robot attack planes are approaching rapidly. Prepare defenses, you haven't much time. Scatter your forces. Expect attack from any direction. Keep a sharp lookout. We're looking, Skipper, we're looking. Why is a Sunday school picnic? No sign of anything. You'll see them soon enough. I'll give you a radar countdown. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, target. I see them. Here they come. Hey, we're out them. They've got our forces outnumbered 10 to 1, and they're still coming in swarms. It's bad. Looks bad, but our teams haven't used their Sunday punch yet. I'm calling them back. Wait, Skipper. Quark spaceships are only robots. They can't think. If we can't outnumber them, we've just got to outthink them. Up toys. Back to the drawing board, Quark. Hey, they're on the run. Watch it, Ginger. Okay, now let's finish them off. Go! Half the robot planes have been destroyed, and the rest have turned tail and run for cover. They're no match for the Voltron Force. Quark is temporarily stopped, but he doesn't give up this easy. Well, Skipper, we're big winners, for the moment anyway. We have no casualties, but some craft are in bad need of repair. We'll have to set the command ship down on the planet. I don't like to do it. It'll be a sitting duck. I'd better notify Galaxy Garrison. Commander Hawkins to Galaxy Garrison. We've been attacked by the forces of Hazar. We must set down on the new planet for repairs. There's grave danger until we can get back in the air again. Please advise. We finally find a new livable planet and those space pirates are trying to steal it from us. The universe is big enough for all people, but there are always those who want what someone else has.
Be seated, gentlemen. I understand our new world is already in trouble, Marshal. The evil Hazar follows us everywhere, ready to pounce. If you'll recall, gentlemen, I recommended we send a support fleet with them when they left the planet. I wouldn't worry, General. The Voltron Force can handle themselves. They've been in some pretty tight spots before. They've just been lucky till now. They have more than luck. The Voltron Force is highly skilled. The problem is they sustained damage to the command ship and had to land on that planet. If Hazar strikes now, they're in deep trouble. They must form Voltron. Voltron can defeat anything. I don't see the problem. But mighty Voltron is only to be used as the very last resort. If all else fails, the land, sea, and air teams can combine to form the giant robot. But remember, he has only five minutes of stored nuclear power. He's our last line of defense. We can only hope five minutes is enough. Our dreams of new worlds depend on Voltron. How are the repairs coming along, teams? Any problems? We've got to work fast. All done, Skipper. Good as new. Good work. We'll lift the Explorer back into space. It's not equipped to battle at ground level with forces like quarks. That's your job. Tell us! Fools, imbeciles! You sent our robots to destruction. I should have sent all you bunglers instead. Bird brain. I'll take over. I'll send our ultimate weapon to do the job, and this time we'll totally crush the Voltron Force. <laughs> Work's force is on the way again. They've caught us on the ground. How much time? No time. Trapped. Now the Voltron Force will have to protect us as well as themselves. What miserable new trick has Quark got up his sleeve now? Hang on! I don't know what that thing is, but we're not getting it. Let's regroup and give it one more good try, Jeff. Go! Jeff, that giant's too much. Get back on the Explorer and we'll try to take off. Just let us go one more round with that crab beast. All right, Jeff, but the Explorer is a sitting duck here. If you get into deep trouble, you know what you have to do. Unite teams and form Voltron. I don't think we're winning. Voltron. Voltron is only to be used in a real emergency. I'd call this a real emergency. All units, assemble Voltron. Land team, form legs. C team, form torso and arms. Air team, form head. Voltron, assemble. Connect. Diatherms. Activate infracells. Follow up.
Get up! Get up and fight, you big heap of junk metal! I want that planet! I counted on you to help me conquer the galaxy! I intend to be Quark, ruler of the universe! Get up and fight! Voltron only has five minutes of stored solar energy. There's not much time left. That last round jammed our controls. Hit the auto stabilizers. by a bunch of infants. Well, there's always next time. It's regrettable that in this vast universe, space without end and who knows how many livable worlds, some men refuse to grow to match its size, to leave behind their selfish ambitions. Yes, there'll always be an evil menace like Quark, but in times of great peril, we'll always have the protection of Voltron, defender of the universe. <laughs>